Hello YouTubers. Today we'll attempt to provide a graphic illustration of Cam Studio and the DivX codec. No attempt will be made to demonstrate the download process for either Cam Studio or the codec. There are lots of other YouTube videos that demonstrate the download process quite adequately. Okay, to get started, first we see the Cam Studio GUI with the record button, the pause button, and the stop button to control your recording. First off, we would want to go to Region, click on Region, and that would take us to the next screen after we selected fixed region we would see this window and this is where we would set the size of our video as you can see we've set the width at 640 pixels and the height at 360 pixels and then we would go back to the GUI and under options we would select uh, video options that would take us to the next screen and as you can see there's a down arrow we can click that and we can select which codec we want to use whether it be DivX or XVID or Cam Studio lossless codec or any number of others we like to use the DivX 6.85 codec it does a good job for us and it makes the files quite small as you can see we set the quality on 60 uh, set keyframes every 30 frames capture frames every 100 milliseconds and playback rate is 10 frames per second we do not use the auto adjust now I have incorporated this little segment here to try to clarify why we chose those settings and I'll just leave this on the screen for a moment incidentally if you want to write anything down use your pause button on your screen to stop this video so that that will give you time to write something down then you can uh, continue when you're ready this is pretty much self-explanatory and I'll put this auto adjust paragraph in so that you can see that now going back to our video options screen we would click on configure after we set our settings click the configure button and that would take us to the codec setup screen we're on the main tab and we have clicked the down arrow and that has provided us with a number of profiles for use we use the 720 HD profile as you can see here we do not use encoding presets uh, this checkbox is grayed out as you can see our slider is set on 3 though I believe uh, that is not enabled you want to set the rate control mode under rate control for one pass and set the bit rate at 256 bits kilobits now we want to go to the video tab and that will bring us to this screen and you can see that under video resolution the format in is set to square pixels by clicking the down arrow as is the format out also set to square pixels uh, I believe these are both default settings I doubt that you'll have to uh, set those yourself 
The interlace is set to progressive source by clicking the down arrow here, making the choice. The psycho visual enhancements is turned off. Now we go back up to our initial GUI screen and uh, click under options and select audio options for microphone. And we come to this screen. You can set the audio capture device as either default input device in my case or I could set it on uh, the motherboard uh, audio. Our recording format that we chose by clicking the down arrow is 11 kilohertz mono 16-bit. There's no need for stereo sound. We've got one microphone. We don't have two mics. So there is only one channel of audio. It accomplishes nothing to set this on stereo. The same sound for those that are viewing the video will come out of both speakers or if you have uh, surround sound the same sound will come out of all speakers. So we've set this to 11 kilohertz which is just fine for speech. We have no music involved here so there's no point and providing uh, a higher frequency response. Now we want to set our compressor to use. I use and like very much the MPEG Layer 3. You might like the lame MP3 compressor. Uh, and you do that by clicking Choose Compressed Format button right here. That gives you a selection of all the uh, different compressors that you can enable. Once again, I have chosen 11 kilohertz mono. You want this to be the same as what you chose under the recording format. Uh, we do not uh, use the interleave video and audio. No check there. And we do not use MCI recording. No check there. Now once we click the Choose Compressed Format to select the uh, compressor, we come to the next screen. And as you can see, to, dis to do the selection for your uh, audio compressor, you click the down arrow and make you highlight your selection, and that would be presented in this main window. As you can see, we're using MPEG Layer 3, and by clicking the down arrow, we have selected 11 kilohertz uh, Monaro audio. And then you click OK. And then that leads us to the uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, as you can see, I use F8 to start my recording and I use F9 to stop my recording. You can also use F8 to pause your recording if you need to. I don't think you'll need the remainder of the uh, keyboard shortcuts. I don't use them and haven't found the need to use them. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you want uh, to see the actual setup of Cam Studio and the DivX codec, look for my other video, which is entitled Cam Studio and DivX uh, Setup. Setup being the keyword dif that differentiates that from this this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you 
got some useful information from this video.